Hello, my name is Richard Wathen. Uh, we're here at Mostyn in Llandudno uh, at the opening of my new show called New Eyes Every Time. Uh, the show consists of nine paintings, two from 2019 and all the rest from 2020. Yeah, I, I think I, I focus generally on these works wanting to, in a way, simplify my practice to, to make the paintings more uh, pared down and, and uh, reduce almost to their essence, really, and placing the figures in uh, a kind of non-space, certainly, certainly not a, a kind of recognised landscape. The painting here, I was, was talking earlier about the, the, the large painting previously had been a, a, a scene, a kind of recognised bathers scene, but I just realised that it wouldn't, it wouldn't function particularly well with the other, other works, you know, where you've got this kind of minimalist aesthetic, the kind of block, um, almost the non-space. And yeah, so it just, it kind of had to, had to become what it is now really, just so that it, it could kind of work with the others. But that, yeah, it's, again, it's just that thing of not leaving the work sort of open to interpretation. There's no definite, you can't pin it down, I suppose. And, and the sort of, the time, I've always been interested in the, in the, the timeless, or the, the kind of slowness of painting, so that things reveal themselves, to, both to me, and that, that's partly what the title is referring to. So I discover things new all the time, but hopefully the viewer will as well. When, certainly when I was back in art school, I was making predominantly abstract work and I think the work that I was most inspired by was the abstract expressionist uh, and later, probably more Im importantly, I'd say the work of Philip Guston. And, and so in a way, I'd, the, the, the idea of making portraits was not something I had ever really considered. And then I think probably around 2002, 2003, I don't know, I'm not really sure why. I ended up making a painting of, of Frankenstein's monster. And I, I think I was just, I was interested in the, in the notion of, yeah, the, the, the kind of things being brought together to, to, to the construct. And, and suddenly, as soon as I made this painting, I, was, I just knew that was the right way to go. And certainly the relationship that a viewer has with a, with a portrait within a gallery, for me anyway, I'm, I'm always drawn to the, it was almost like the face, the, the kind of contact, the face always draws me in. So, like I say, it's not, they, I, don't, I don't ever see them as, they're not, I'm not interested in making a portrait of somebody. It's more, I'm interested in the nuances of being alive, fragility, vulnerability. Um, and a lot, a lot of it stems from autobiographical references, I think, and that's not something that I necessarily want the viewer to be, you know, forced with but it's it allows me an opening or a way into the work I suppose. Well, certainly this, the imagery that I use is very varied a lot of sourcing imagery online uh, old books uh, and, and it's something I really love doing is just find by ch almost allowing chance to you, you know you find an, an image here or an advert there from the 70s or something and then you there's a sort of melting pot in a way over time and so, I'll, so I will attach this image to that film or that memory and, and, and so it's, it's just a, a case of things somehow finding maybe three or four elements that, that seem to make sense as a, an idea for a painting in a way. And, and, but like I say, it's, it's very intuitive and I'm quite happy to rely on, on, you know, on that as a, as a good way to start. And, doesn't doesn't mean to say that they, <laughs> that they stay like that. They will often change quite a lot during the making, uh, and I think it, part part of the reason the works take so long to make is purely due to because I mean you, you can see in terms of the actual finished painting, then you know there's nothing there to suggest that there's months and months worth of work. But I think you know certainly if you were to X-ray any of them. You, you, there's, there's numerous other pictures underneath and that's, that's where the time's spent really. And I quite like allowing the work to lead me in a way and to, yeah, almost accept that that's, that there's a sort of point that you almost find within the work that you reach and then you kind of, then I, right, that's it, I know where it's going now. But that could be straight away. So, I mean, funnily enough, this, uh, the painting over here, 
the last one I started, but actually was the first one to be finished because it resolved itself very quickly, luckily. I, I, I always work on more than one. I very rarely ever work on one at a time. I quite like building them slowly over time. And, and there's, there's something, I mean, I, I've also, something I've, I've really enjoyed with these works, uh, as I mentioned earlier, in terms of emptying out, is also allowing the work to breathe a lot more and not be so refined and just accepting of, you know, the, the, the flower just being a, initially a, a kind of plot for me, that was where the flower would be or something. But actually, I don't think it needs, needs any more work than that. So that's, that, and I, I feel kind of good with that, actually. <laughs>